Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is going to be the first part of the furring for the bodysuit. Yay! Um, my name is Juju Bug, and today we are going to be doing Stompy Feet. So, um, at this point, if you've been following my videos, you should have all your foam bits and everything ready to go. So, I follow a similar pattern to all of um, the pieces that I fur that involve foam. Um, in fact, I follow a similar pattern to the entire fursuit. Um, so, here we go. So, what I was showing you there was the fact that you need to make sure that you absolutely positively know the direction of the pile of the fur. That is really, really important. Um, the fur is going to go down your leg and uh, towards your toes and uh, then down the front of your toes. So once again, if you look at the fur of like a pet or something um, and you look at their fur, uh, then you'll be able to see the direction that their fur goes in and remember out towards the toes. If you do it back, it's going to look really like weird. Trust me, you don't want to do that. It's a bad time. Um, so I do the same thing that I did with the head where I pin into place and then I cut as needed. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I just kind of disappeared. Um, there I go. So um, when you do your toes, make sure that you pin the fur um, in between the toes too. So you really can tell uh, that you can tell each toe apart. Otherwise, um, like on the legs when I show you how to fur it, um, right there, that gap in between the pieces of foam, um, you're not going to be able to see that because the fur is going to sit smooth. But, so, when you do your toes, you need to make sure that um, the fur fits snugly in between each toe. So, somebody asked me to um, show them one of my old fur suit heads. That was the oldest one that I had. It was actually the second one that I made. But um, on that one, if you pause the video, go back, pause the video, uh, and look closely, I didn't pay attention to the pile of the fur. It was a big mistake. Mistakes were made. <laughs> so it really does make a difference. And um, that was Juju Bug's completed head. Um, I didn't really have a picture at the end of completing her head. Um, but in later videos, and right now I'm trying to knock out narrating videos before I go to Texas in two days, so... Wow, camera adjustment. That was weird. Um, so I'm trying to narrate them all and get them up and show you guys, because I know there are a lot of you um, patiently waiting for me to put up the rest of the videos. And at this point right now, at this very day, on the 24th of the 5th month of the 15th year, uh, I don't have Jujubug finished. I have one arm and no torso. So, I'm getting there. She's like 80% done. I'm just kind of ran rambling at the moment because, you know, there's not very much to narrate and I apologize about that. Um, something that I said that I was going to do or in earlier videos that I did not end up doing was um, I wanted to have extra length at the bottom of the feet to cover up the foam pad on the bottom. Now I decided that it was kind of pointless to try and do that and I wouldn't suggest anybody else do that because, reason being, um, that fur is going to get dirty and to have the actual fur dragging on the ground, the backing can split and, uh, well, that's not something that you can really repair. So fursuits, as you know, are very fragile items. They're luxury items. They're not something that's going to last, you know, forever and ever and ever if you don't make it in such a way that um, prevents it from being ruined immediately. So you have to make it in a way that will keep it clean. So very important, very important advice right there. Right now um, I am sewing up the two pieces of fur that I used for it. I actually used three pieces of fur. There's one on the top of the toes and one on the front and one that goes around the back. Only three pieces of fur. That's all you need. A lot of people do really complex, um, different sort of pieces with 
pieces of tape and that's really not a thing that's necessary for you to do. So just some simple advice there. Um, you can right now you can see the top of the shoe um, and I chose not to uh, fix this issue with my fursuit simply because reason being um, I'm never going to wear Juju Bug as a partial never because she is so big it would look really weird on my really tiny body <laughs> I actually put her head on recently at a fur meet and wiggled my head around and it looked like a bobblehead, head and it was crazy. So right now I am gluing all the fur into place. I have made cuts into the fur um, to allow my little toe toenails to poke out. Um, do that while you're approximating the location of the fur. Also um, I have not trimmed the bottom of the foot at this point. So I have extra foam and leave that extra foam on there for as long as you can because you never know what your fur is, is and isn't going to cover. And the black wire running from the middle of the screen to the left to the razor right there, um, I do end up at the end shaving the toes. Shave the toes to about a half an inch um, and leave the rest of the fur on the foot longer. It creates a really nice look. I really like it personally. It's kind of Think of a Clydesdale's foot. Oh, here I go. Here I go. I'm shaving. But think of a Clydesdale's foot. It makes the fur ripple and look really nice. Because when you look at a foot, um, unless it's a... Oh, what's it called? A spaniel. With the feathers in between their toes. If you're going for that spaniel sort of look, you know, if, you, if your species is a cocker spaniel, then you know what? Leave it. Go for it. But for me, um, the adorable hellhounds are going to have short fur on their feet because why not? It's not, you know, an official species or something. It's just what I call you do bug. It's not going to be like, angel dragons and her, but no. Um, yeah, so I start with my longest guard. Even though it is too long, it, it still does get some of the fur and it starts you off really nicely. Moving down, it's the same thing. Watch what I'm doing. I am brushing in between each shave and I go over with each guard several times and I move from the longest to the one that I want. You never want to start with the shortest one because when it clogs your razor, it can pull the razor and you won't feel it. It won't feel like you're going to do this, but it can pull the razor too close to the backing and cause um, scars. And then you'll have to completely remove that piece or cut out the piece that has the scar and sew on another piece of fur to reshave and it's going to create a seam because unfortunately fursuits are imperfect and over the years their fur does fall out. And we want to create as few bald spots as possible. So 99% of the time I will be um, shaving with the fur with the grain of the fur. Very, very important. I've said this in all of my videos that I do shaving in. Um, with the grain of the fur. You'll think that it'll go faster if you go against the grain. Not worth it. Because it creates a chunky look. It's very, very um, bad. And that's a mistake that a lot of people make on their fursuits. Look, you can see my little toes now. Now, if your, toe, if your feet are going to have um, toenails like that, like mine do, I would recommend um, taking the guard off completely if you're really skilled or just using scissors if you're not to um, trim the hair around the toes so that you can tell that they do have toenails because with fursuits, I've pers in my personal opinion, I've made a few fursuits now and I've tried to make details um, subtle that didn't need to be subtle. Details that make a fursuit a fursuit subtle. And um, it didn't turn out nicely. So um, if you pay money to have toenails on your feet, show them. Don't just have them there to be like, oh yeah, guess what? It has it has toenails. Uh, fun fact. You know, don't do that. So right now I am trimming the bottom to match my fur. Like I said, last step. And you can still leave a little bit extra if you want to help protect the bottom of your fur, like I do. And it's okay if it's not perfect. I mean, nobody's going to see the bottom of your feet. I mean, they might, but, you know, unless you have paw pads under there, which I am not doing, I apologize. Maybe someday I'll have a fursuit that has feet pads on it. But this is not one of those. Um, so I can't give you any advice at the moment on those, but maybe someday. 
So I am cleaning up and doing a little bit of trimming. And there you go. Your stompy feet, you know, glue around the edges. Sorry. Keep for getting steps and going back. Awkward. Yeah. Well, glue around the bottom, um, trim around your toes, and finish it up. And people think that feet are really, really difficult. They're not. They're really simple. And with that seam, I later go around and um, add stitches, but I'm all out of time for now. Um, there's no video playing right now. That's okay. That's cool. Don't mind it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.